Hello out there, Dr. Marky Pasquale here at Adjusted Family Chiropractic. Just, um, we've come up, um, come across some pretty cool research today and um, I just wanted to share it with you. So um, this is a, we're trying to keep uh, abreast of all the latest research and Dr. Sean Campbell, one of our um, chiropractors, is um, absolutely amazing at uh, the amount of research that he does and the amount of understanding he has on how the uh, nervous system works, how the human body works, and what it needs to actually be healthy. So he came up and he was searching around um, from a couple of things he was looking at, and he found this article here, which I've just actually gone right through, um, and it's quite extraordinary. Uh, a massive um, research article on antibiotic, antibiotic use. So antibiotic exposure and the risk for depression, anxiety, and psychosis. Um, now, um, I don't have to tell you that things like depression and anxiety um, are major in our society, so a lot of people suffer from these. Um, but the understanding is this is one of the, the only studies that we've seen that have really linked the use of uh, gut health, the use of antibiotics, which affects gut health, um, with um, things such as anxiety and psychosis. Now, this is no small study. This is actually a massive study. Over 202,000 people um, we're part of this study, so it's, it's great. This is one of the things we always look at with regards to a study is how many people are part of it. Um, and a couple of the outcomes <clears throat> is that the, uh, the treatment with um, antibiotics, whether it be a single dose or multiple dose, the conclusion was um, recurrent antibiotic exposure is associated with increased risk for depression and anxiety. So it's a fact. Now, the question would be why? Why does it actually um, happen that way? Well, the, the thing is that antibiotics actually um, are important for us and they, uh, they do allow us to actually fight off bacteria, especially bacteria that are trying to take over our body. But unfortunately, as well as killing off the bad bacteria, antibiotics also kill the good bacteria. And these are the good bacteria that are in our gut, um, in our digestive system that help us digest our food and get all the nutrients and actually give us a big immune, um, actually control our immune system. So they're very, very important. So when we take antibiotics, we're actually in an understanding that is actually killing off our good bacteria as well, and that needs to be replenished. That's why in any case, we always look at how well we are replacing good bacteria into the gut. We'll often recommend um, to take things like probiotics or prebiotics. We've got a few different types. This is how important they are. So we've got, this is one of them, this is another. We also have them in our um, detox kits as another one. So they're so important, we can't just have one, we've got different types, different amounts, different uses, um, that's how important it is. Now, it's quite um, interesting that someone may come to us uh, with um, some form of problem, we might say, well here, maybe uh, we need to be taking this to um, increase the body's health. It may not make sense to you, but what we're aiming to do is to get your body in a state that it's full healing and full working condition so they can actually get healthy and take care of problems. So. Um, they're highly recommended. Uh, if you do need any assessments or anything like that with regards to your gut health, let us know. But next time you do take antibiotics or if you're in a position where you, you have to because you have a bacterial infection, obviously with a viral infection, it's not, not recommended because um, antibiotics don't actually kill off viruses. But with a bacterial infection, um, if uh, we do take them and we have to take them, it is very, very important to actually uh, replenish once again. And my recommendations are to actually replenish the gut flora with probiotics once every six months. Just reset it. Okay, it's just, it's that important and it's so closely linked to immune system and our brain function and nervous system function. So, any questions, just contact us here at the practice at Adjusted Chiropractic. Give us a call, send us an email, um, or come in. We're happy to help you in any way uh, we possibly can. We'll keep up to date with all the latest research as well and keep it getting out to you. Stay healthy and we'll try and, uh, and help you along that path. See ya.